I um, had a lot of childhood trauma and that left me with the typical anorexia, post-traumatic stress disorder, alcohol use disorder, um, just the laundry list of things that happen when you're that traumatized as a child. And I thought I had overcome the anorexia. I think I switched from starving myself to the healthier, being really focused on what I was putting in my body and just got a ton of exercise. I was a raft guide. I used to lead outward bound canoe experiences. I've run a marathon. You know, I've trekked to Nepal. I mean, just really love the outdoors and being fit. And at 47, I got my first hot flash. And one month later, I was 13 pounds heavier and freaked out and the shame. Oh my gosh, the shame. And that's when I realized, I think I just gotten better with the eating disordered eating, but I don't think I ever really solved it. And so I went on a 10 year journey of trying to lose weight and I'm super disciplined. So when I say that I was doing the keto diet, I was like doing the keto diet. I, I would quit drinking no more than 20 grams of carbs, no sugar, no this, no that. And I, I was getting back to my very disordered, restrictive eating again. And my cycle was I would do something like keto and I would lose five pounds and then the weight loss would just stall. And then I would do the what the hell and surrender and then I was up now eight pounds instead of just five. So I ended up putting on 25 pounds, um, you know, starting with the 13 and moving my way up to the 25. And I had tried Noom and I had been writing down every single morsel that went in my mouth and counting calories. And oh my God, the effort I put into this. And it, it just, nothing, absolutely nothing. And so I bumbled upon Jenny and my fear was it was going to be another deal where nothing worked. And honest to goodness, like I ran a marathon and did not lose an ounce. I was drinking a bottle of wine a night, do the math, that's six to 800 calories a day. I stopped drinking. I did not lose an ounce. And so I just started to believe it was impossible for my body to release this weight. And Jenny and I spent a lot of time in the beginning talking about that. I was so afraid if it didn't work, I was even going to be worse off. And I was absolutely paralyzed um, making the choice. But I, I took the leap and immediately started losing weight. And that was that was helpful. <laughs> because I don't know how it would have turned out if that hadn't happened. I think I would have been further paralyzed. And um, it always gives me a giggle when um, Ginny talks about um, people worrying about giving up something because I'm like, oh my God, I got to eat so many more things. I got fruit back in my diet. I got grains back in my diet. I got so much more in my diet because I had just eliminated just about everything in this effort to be thin again. And like I said, the shame... I am in maintenance now. I've lost 25 pounds and am back to the size I was when I got married. I always felt like I gave my husband a bait and switch because he married this <laughs> thin thing. And then three years later, I wasn't thin anymore. I don't think my body necessarily gives up weight easily. And so it feels like a miracle that this weight is gone. I don't think I realized how much shame I was carrying until I started to lose the weight. And I had a, a buddy from when I worked was a raft guide. I hadn't seen him in almost 30 years and we were going to get together. And I thought if I had been at that weight that I was, I wouldn't have gone. I was shamed to the point that I would have not seen somebody that I absolutely adored because I was so embarrassed about how I looked. And that is, that's brutal. And trying on clothes. Oh my God. My husband used to fear when I went shopping because I would leave with nothing in tears saying I couldn't buy anything. And 
I went shopping and I was just so excited. Oh, this fits and this fits and this fits. And oh my God, it was just amazing. And I had lost the weight and I did go see my friend, Tommy. We just had a blast. And I look at the photo with him that got published on the web that all my old friends saw. And I was not ashamed. In place of ashamed, what did you feel? Self-confidence and pride. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Really. I didn't realize how important my appearance was to me Mm -hmm. until I didn't have it anymore. I wasted all those great years (laughs) complaining about the dumbest things that I was gorgeous. And I just never took the time to notice because I was always so busy thinking that this was wrong or that was wrong or the other thing was wrong. And I look at that picture now, in fact, honest, if I could be just completely vulnerable and honest, I cannot tell you all how many times I went back and looked at that picture of Tommy and I, because I just couldn't believe that was me after so long of feeling so bad about myself.